If you liberals really are as compassionate as you say you are, you have a funny way of showing it. All right, folks, Breitbart.com headline, Jim Carrey attacks so-called Christian Sarah Huckabee Sanders with grotesque portrait. A portrait that he painted, and we'll put it up on the screen now. Just obviously trying to paint Sarah Huckabee Sanders in a, a very negative light. Obviously, Jim Carrey is no fan of uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders or Donald Trump or any conservative for that matter. Anyone really who doesn't subscribe to the uh, social justice crowd, the progressives, the radical left. On a side note, Jim Carrey is an ass. But that's, that's well, that's actually the point. I was going to say that's besides the point, but no, that's the point of this episode. Jim Carrey is an ass. Actor Jim Carrey targeted what appears to be White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders with lewd artwork of her like of her likeness in a tweet slamming her as a so-called Christian who lies for a living. Now here's what this a-hole wrote, wrote on Twitter. Uh, this is the portrait of a so-called Christian whose only purpose in life is to lie for the wicked. Monstrous, he wrote. This is Jim Carrey. Now, let me just say this about Jim Carrey. Let me just say this about Jim Carrey, because I remember talking about this guy on my radio program in the past. It was something, it was for something similar to this. I think he, he took to Twitter and said something ridiculous. It might have been about Ted Cruz. I can't remember. The point of the matter is, this is a guy, an actor, whose really career is circling the drain. He's kind of a has-been at this point. He loves being in the national spotlight. He loves when people are talking about him. Uh, and so he, he goes on social media and says comments like this and posts pictures like this. Absolutely absurd. Absolutely grotesque. Absolutely inappropriate. And uh, I think Twitter made that known today. I think many users are coming out and, and criticizing Jim Carrey for what he did. And rightly so. He should be ashamed of himself. He should be ashamed of himself. This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. Now, let, let's analyze his comment here for just a second, because that's another point I want to I wanna touch upon. Only purpose in life, he says, is to lie for the wicked. This is, of course, referring to uh, Sarah Sanders. Lie for the wicked, meaning Donald Trump. Hmm. Gee, do the Democrats ever lie about anything? Did the, the puppets in the mainstream media ever lie for Barack Obama to defend Barack Obama when he was in office? Did Jim Carrey ever lie, perpetuate falsehoods in defense of Barack Obama? Did Jim Carrey ever lie for the wicked? I dare say he did. And all the other leftists out there. So I don't want to hear this, Donald Trump is wicked, Sarah Sanders lying for the wicked. What the hell was, uh, who was, who was President Obama's, uh, uh, White House uh, press secretary, by the way. Didn't he have, like, a couple of them? Jay Carney? That idiot? What was the other one after Jay Carney? I can't even remember. I don't really care. Did they lie for the wicked? Of course they did. They lied every single time they got up there and defended Barack Obama. But Jim Carrey, no, he goes after Sarah Sanders, who I happen to like, and says that she's lying for the wicked. Number one, Donald Trump isn't wicked. Number two, Sarah Sanders isn't lying about anything. Absolutely pathetic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me make a few more points here. First of all, I want you to know that stories like this, what Jim Carrey just did in this vicious attack on Sarah Sanders, this is exactly why I am so aggressive towards the left. This is why I am so aggressive towards the left, and I have been for years. I don't, I'm not one of these hosts that gets behind the microphone, you know, hey, I think that uh, we need bipartisan support here. I think we need to work with the Democrats. We need to play nice. We need to really hear them out. I'm not one of those hosts. I'm a conservative that believes in destroying the left. Why? Because the left has made it uh, uh, well known time and time again that they want to destroy us. And so it's either we destroy them first politically or they destroy us. They come after us all the time. 
with this sort of crap. They slander us. They ridicule us. I'm not just ta uh, talking politics here. I mean personal attacks. Personal attacks. The liberals are vicious. They are vicious. They are hostile. They hate conservatives. And so in, in my opinion, I think that we need to be hostile and aggressive back. Fight fire with fire. But that's just me. You'll get some other conservatives who, you know, want to play nice, play fair, and, and all the rest. Not me. Not me. Why? Because there are people out there like Jim Carrey. That's why. And I know we might get some leftists commenting on this video saying, well, Jim Carrey doesn't represent the whole Democrat Party. But you know something, ladies and gentlemen? Far too many people in the Democrat Party, whether it's in Washington, D.C., or in the mainstream media, do act like this. Maybe not to this level, but they do slander conservatives. They are hostile. They are aggressive. And so, yeah, I, I really do think that it's a fair statement to say that the liberal progressive movement is a movement, in many respects, of hate. It is not a movement of compassion. It's not a movement of tolerance. It's a movement of, of hate and contempt for anyone that's not like them. That's the truth.